Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1847th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. This video coming at you on a Tuesday night for trading Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. Please know futures trading is extremely risky. Extremely risky. You can lose more than just your shirt, pals. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's written out there for you. Extremely risky. You can lose more than the money that's in your account. You can lose more than you bargained for. You can end up divorced if you do this wrong. Put your stops in, put them in first, and come join me at livewithoscar.com in my live trading room, and I'll help teach you the rules, keep you calm and collect, and keep you informed on what's going on. So, where are we? Traders, I left you off with this video, and I said... Don't get your panties in a bunch just yet. The last dip was 3,256 full points in the Dow smash down. That was Feb of this year. Here we are now. The current dip is 2,183 points. As you can see, there's a difference. You know what I mean? We've got 1,000 points, 1,100 points before we even get near that last dip. And in fact... We would have to literally dip this far. Pretend that this is the next bar. We would have to dip this far just to come even with the last dip that we had in February. This one back here. So don't get your panties in a bunch just yet, part two. So in this video, I will show you something that kind of coincides with what we did in last the, the video just a couple of nights ago, the previous one before this, 1,846. I actually gave out targets where the S&P should get down to, and we're going to look at that, but let's finish this. What are you looking at here? The Dow Jones Daily Bar. Now, I know that there's a panic going on, and it looks like the end of the world is coming financially, but... This part of the sesh, this part of the drop has not existed, did not happen, is not part of the game. We've only dropped so far 2,186, 83 points. We are at a spot where, as you can see, something tends to hold here. The 200 ball moving average holds, holds, holds. Where are we now? We're at it. So if we're just going to look at the Dow Jones alone, not so bad, right? We know that the NASDAQ and the Russell and the S&P have all broken through the average, but the Dow has not. In fact, it stuck its head through today, turned around and came right back up and settled above the 200 ball moving average. So you've got something positive there. I just wanted to let you know, don't lose your minds yet. We've got a long way to go before this gets ugly. What else is happening here? Well, you know, if you snap a trend line across here, you're basically holding that trend line right now. Now, we know that this bar is not real, so I'm not going to that bar. I'm going from this low to this low, snapping it across, and look where we got to. Basically, right here, where you can draw another one of these little, I don't know what you want to call them, little V-shape, half a triangle, three quarters of a triangle. So, as you can see, you dip through the 200. You don't usually dip through this through this support line. You did a little bit here, but you got back up above the 200 ball moving average. So, again, we'd have to go this far before you did any real damage to the chart. It is holding around the 200 ball moving average for now, and there's a trend line here. So, you know, just don't get your panties in a bunch yet. Don't count out the U.S. market so quickly. Remember, call me at 702-629-4755. RSVP for the Omniac Bash, November 10th and 11th. This is a party that is on me. It, I am inviting my Omniacs from around the world, and many of you are coming. Hang out with us. It's a full weekend party. There'll be live music, fun. It's going to be a blast. Omniacs get to know each other. It's the first annual bash. RSVP, call me, or come to livewithoscar.com and shoot me a feedback or an email. All right, traders, so that's one of the things I wanted to show you. What else do we have here? So that's the Dow Jones. I've got a couple of charts that caught my attention. Let's go to this one now. E-mini S&P. In a video just a couple of nights ago, I gave you two targets. I said, now 
it's looking a little flaggy out there. And I showed you this flag. And now that we're below the 200, I gave you targets. 2695 conservative, aggressive 2641. This exact chart. And you know what happened? Watch this. I just updated the chart. It went right to my target, like right to the target. How about bravo on that, huh? That's sick analysis, kids. How did we do today? Personally, I'm an idiot, and I didn't do well. I think the other Omniacs did quite well on my information, but I've been fumbling the ball on my own really good information lately, so I'll have to admit I didn't win on this good information today, but my Omniacs did, so bravo for them. If, if, if they took the information right from the videos and traded it themselves. I happen to fumble the ball on my own info, but that'll happen to me from time to time. In any event, on the good side of it, I gave an exact projection. We hit, you know what the low is today? 26.91, or 26.92.75, if I remember right. We got just through the 26.95 and turned around, rallied all the way back up and settled near the highs. Now, that's interesting. Will we ever get to the aggressive 2641 target? I don't know, but we sure did hit 2695 like it was magic. So will we bounce from there? Well, it is a bull market overall, so maybe we will. But I wanted to show you that. The target was hit. There is another target, and the Omni has not gone green yet. So what we will do in the Omni or trading uh, the E-mini S&P on 1024, we will either buy a dip, or I will sell a rally, whichever sets up first. I have to be honest, I had a plan to buy the dip at 27.35 tonight. After doing analysis, I fell asleep on my couch and I missed my chance to get in on the buy side of the S&P. We'll see what happens when it rallies up. Maybe I'll end up getting a chance to sell a rally. Maybe it'll come back down to my buy area, but I would like to have gotten in on the first attempt, but we'll see. So anyway, not a green Omni, not a red Omni. We're going to either buy a dip or sell a rally. But if you put a gun to my head, I would tell you that we might have held down here at 26.95. The other side of me says, Oscar, what about the aggressive projection? You called it, it should go, right? That's the ego side of me. <laughs> the other side of me says, close enough, I got this one right. Maybe that's all we're going to get. So we will play that one day at a time. That's your E-mini S&P. Let's go look at another chart I think you might find interesting. Uh, that would be here. Traders, the gold chart, I've been showing this to you for days on end now and saying you've got to watch this market like a hawk. Why? And you've seen, the, you've seen me do the demonstration, but I'll do it again quickly. With this 200 ball moving average, it appears that an event takes place when gold gets either above it or gets below it. Now, this is a weekly chart. Every one of these bars represents a full five days worth of trading. An event takes place when you get above or below the 200. So watch. Gets above and it stays that way for a while. Gets below and another event takes place. And it stays that way. Now, these are weeks, right? Stayed that way for a long time. Gets above, an event takes place, and then it stays that way. Another rally, it holds above. Gets back to it, an event takes place. Gets under it, a smackdown takes place. Where are we now? What happens next? Well, as I told you two days ago, daily signals are fluttering as a buying omni. Now we are slightly above that average. Now we're going to change things up for you a little bit. Watch this. Let's go to the daily. And let's just change up that average to another average. And let's go with the 50. Get rid of that 200. And watch this. Look at where we are on the daily in gold. Pennant flag has been broken out from. Held beautifully. The 50 ball moving average is where the flagpole was created. There's two, there's two days that make up this flagpole. That were, that, those were created. Got above the 50 ball moving average, which, if you'll, if you'll note, had difficulty here in all of here. But this time gets above, forms a pennant bull flag, and now looks like it wants to break out. So the daily and the weekly in gold are very interesting. And then for my YouTube fans, many of them have said, have said, Oscar, what about crude? What about crude? Please tell us about crude. So here we are, YouTube fans. Let me show you a crude chart. I believe I left one here. So 
On this chart, I decided to break out one of my big gun averages that I rarely show and I rarely use, but when necessary, I break it out. For my YouTube fans, I thought I'd break this out. Answer to crude is this. Look where we are right now. This is absolute do or die territory. Why? Look back. Look at this solid support every time you get near this trend line. On top of that, once the average started hovering and following that trend line, when you get to the average, you it rejects and you head back up. Here we are at both the average and the trend line, do or die area. I don't know what you want to do here, but if you put a gun to my head, you get long here, not short, right? That's what it says to do each time you get down here. I say, instead of telling the market what it is going to do, why don't we listen to it? Put your ear to the market. Let it tell you what it's going to do. If it breaks underneath, we go short. If it holds, it's in, It's probably a signal to get long. Why play hero tomorrow? Why don't you just watch this one and let it tell us? We'll jump all over it for Thursday. All right, traders, that's what I wanted to show you. Please come on down to livewithoscar.com. Join me in my live trading room. Do not forget the Omniac Bash. We want you there. Come to Las Vegas. Time is ticking. Book your tickets, kids. This party's on me. Come hang out with me for two days in Las Vegas. And remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, in my opinion, to keep those emotions at bay is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders, I will see you all at livewithoscar.com.